a day and night cycle was something requested a lot by the community, so I decided to implement it in RPG Builder 2.0. As you can see now, we have our entire scene being lit differently based on the time of the day. The fog is also actually changing color. And I'm going to show you how you can very easily customize this for every single one of your scenes. So for example, in this specific setup, we have a kind of you know realistic uh, day and night cycle where, well, it's bright during the day, dark at night. The light during the day is some kind of yellow, extra. But you could totally uh, do anything you want. You could make it bright during the night, dark during the day, that's fine. But you could also go even more crazy and I'm going to show you all that. So, uh, first of all, how do we actually customize those values? So here if we go under um, RPG Builder, World and Game Scenes, right now I'm inside the uh, Dreamscape Game Scene. If you like this kind of environment, by the way, um, like I said, this is a Dreamscape pack from Polyart Studio, so definitely check their assets, I really like them, and they are one of our partners with RPG Builder. But anyway, uh, if we look at the day and night cycle options here, um, what if we wanted to make the sand color something quite different? Now another quick tip is to, um, if you like uh, one of those gradients that you just made, you can click the new button and it will be uh, saving it. So for example, if you wanted to tweak it, but also be sure not to lose it, just click this new button and Unity will save it for you. And I think it's even saved between projects, but I can't guarantee you that. Anyway, uh, let's make this, uh, for example, red here. Here it's going to be maybe green and here it's going to be blue. So yeah, I don't promise you that this will look good, but um, that's kind of what's gonna happen. And let's do the same thing for the fog here. Um, red here, green, and blue over here. Maybe I delete this one and make this one like this, okay. Let's go ahead and save. So during the night, it should look pretty much the same because it stayed uh, kind of dark. Now we are at 10 p.m., so we we'll need to be we we'll need to be waiting a bit. But soon enough, we will see our new um, amazing, beautiful scene setup. So here you can see that we have some green going on, right? Um, quite a lot of green, <laughs> maybe too much green. <laughs> um, it should turn red really uh, soon. So we can see that now it's transitioning nicely from green to red. Yeah, it kind of hurts my eyes. And we should go to blue um, relatively soon. You can see that the fog is transitioning very nicely between those colors. I actually kind of like the blue in the distance. I think that's the one that looked uh, the best. But yeah, maybe not the ideal setup, but this was just some kind of extreme example on um, what you can do. And of course, I'm sure you're going to tweak those values, those color, and make it look uh, perfect for your scene. Now, you might be wondering what kind of control you have over how quick um, the time goes in your game. Well, not only you have very, very easy ways to control how quick the time goes in your game, but you have also full control over what even is time in your game. So. Uh, if we go under settings and world here, under world time settings, you can see that we have much more than just time settings. In here we have control if we want to use years, we can fully turn off years, if we want to use month, weeks, days, hours, minutes and seconds. But not only that, we can also choose for every single one of them when do they start. Does your game start at year minus 1000, 1000, 5000, 2000, whatever, right, you get the idea. And also on top of this, we can choose how many months do we have per year. So by default, it is, you know, the traditional setup that we know as humans. But if you wanted your game to have a different approach to that, you could have 20 months in a year. You could have, uh, I don't know, one week per month. I don't know. This is really up to you. Um, I'm not sure a lot of people will tweak this, but if you do want to, well, the option is here for you. And at the bottom here, um, we have a setting called global time speed. So if I actually put this back to one, so one is a default value, right? Um, and this is also going to, basically this is affecting um, those, this value. So those two values are really much uh, linked together. So let's take an example. If I put uh, 60 here, it means uh, that if we have a value of one, every 60 seconds, one hour is passing in the game. And now if I go ahead and save, you actually, you know what, I'm going to probably um, 
set the normal values back because I'm not sure my eyes are going to like that if we look at it too long. <laughs> okay, now we are back in game. And you can see that if we look at the time here, indeed, every one second, one minute is passing in the game. And now, as you can see, of course, it is much slower. We don't see the shadow moving as quick, etc. Now, you could very easily um, tweak this without tweaking the hour value. So now if we go ahead and set this to 10, it is going to be 10 times faster, as you can see. So now every one second, uh, we're going to have 10 seconds uh, or rather six seconds going in the game, right? And um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. We uh, see the shadow moving now. So that's really going to be up to you. Like, how quick do you want this to be? Do you want days to feel really long in your game, etc.? Now, another cool note uh, to keep in mind is that the time value is saved, right? So um, if we look at the shadow now, see uh, how the shadow is here around our character. If I leave and go back in game, the time goes back exactly as we left it. So if you disconnect at night and you come back, it's still going to be night. So that's also a really um, cool little feature. Another thing I want to show you is um, here in the editor, you have um, two different, very cool ways to use uh, the current time of your game. So if we go under template, requirements, you can actually um, have requirement of type time. So if we go here, add a requirement of type time, we have now three options. The first one is game time. So this is actually the time we've been talking about all along this video. So this is what represents your um, kind of fake time, right? The time from your game. And here you can check values. You can check equal, equal or below, whatever. You can check a specific here. So for example, you could have an ability or you could have NPCs that only spawn at night or you could have an ability that you can only use during winter or something like that. So that's really cool. Um, but you can, it's not only about morph, etc. Like you can see, we can um, check specific seconds, minutes and so on. We can even check a global speed uh, in case we wanted to. I'm not sure exactly what I will use it for personally, but again, the option is here. Now we have system time. So that's another cool one. This is going to ignore uh, your game time completely. Um, system time is the time um, it is where you're currently located. So this is a pretty cool thing in my opinion. I don't know, I haven't seen much uh, games doing that, but basically you could have some, I don't know, abilities or merchant or something like this that only spawn um, or things that only happen when it is night at your time or morning or something like this. And this could also be used for seasonal events. So you could have certain things that only happen, for example, during Halloween or Christmas. So that's a very, very cool uh, little system or feature. And the third option is not really um, as big as, pre um, as the previous one. This is just combat time. So this is more like if you want to check um, how long a unit has been in or out of uh, combat. Now, the second way to use uh, time is something I actually showed you in um, the interactable object video, but uh, I can show you right now. So let's um, create a game action of type set night. And I'm going to go ahead, set it to time, and I'm going to set hour. And we're going to do something maybe um, two, two in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now I'm going to create a new interactable object. I'm going to go to my character here, create a cube or maybe a sphere, put it here. Okay, I'm going to uh, set it to trigger and I'm going to add a, an interactable object. So this is going to be a trigger. It's going to have um, one action. It's going to be a game action. I'm going to link my set night template here. It is going to have no interaction time, and that should be it. And now, if I step in it, you can see that the uh, time of the day actually changed. We could really, really easily make a second one to set day. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I would use this myself in the game as well, but um, again, that's possible to do, and it might be something you want. So let's duplicate this sphere here, and... Um, put it here. And this one, we're simply going to replace the set night with set day. Okay, so if I go here, it's night. If I go here, it's day. Pretty cool, right? 
Um, at least I like it. I don't know. I just think it's cool to see it in action like that. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you about the time system is um, instead of going back and forth or like instead of waiting for, you know, when you tweak the colors, for example, when you really want to be fine tuning those colors and make sure that they look great in your scene, um, you might not want to wait all the time. You can, of course, speed up the time. Uh, if we go here, word, let's say one hour is one second with 10 as global speed, it's going to be really quick, right? As you see right now, a day is not going to take that long. But you can also, um, when you're in game, you can go here, select RPG Builder Essentials, and here you have the uh, character data. And if you go all the way at the bottom, you have time. And here you can manually set values. And this is not only useful for um, hours extra, you can also set your years if you wanted to um, you know, test things in your game. Uh, later, I'm most likely going to be adding it to the developer panel. For now, it is not yet. But in this case, we could, for example, set uh, hour to one. And as you can see, it automatically updates. And it is, you know, not going to like kind of pause it or something. It is, you know, back to one. So you can really just um, keep repeating the same maybe sunrise and really fine tune uh, the value. So yeah, I think that's all I wanted to show in this video. I'm going to one more time set night and day just for the, I don't know, it's just too much fun for me. I really like to see this in action. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you think as always in the comments. If you have uh, or if you need help with it, let me know on Discord and see you in the next video.